Hello boys and girls and welcome to Satao Learning. Today we are going to see how we can arrange numbers in ascending order and we are going to be looking at up to three digit numbers. So assuming we are given some numbers and we are supposed to arrange them in ascending order 640 23, 25, 4, 98, 7, 6, 46, 3, 52, 4, 64, and 3, 27. Okay, so the first thing we do when we look at the numbers, remember ascending order means we start with the smallest number. So when we look at the numbers, first we begin by asking ourselves, is there any one digit number? Is there any one digit number? Yes, there's a one digit number. That one. Make sure you mark it so that you remember that you've already written it down. So we start with that one there. Okay, that's the only one digit number. Is there a two digit number there? So we write it down. Is there another two digit number that's the only two digit number so is that the rest we are left with are three digit numbers so when we are looking at the three digit numbers we first begin by looking at digits that be numbers that begin with one none two there's none three we have three numbers beginning with the digit three so that's 325, 352, and 327. Okay. Okay. So what do we do with those? We look at the first digit. They all begin with three. So we now look at the second digit. Okay. So this is bigger. This second digit is bigger. So these are the smaller ones. Yeah. So now because these two are the same, the first two digits of that number and the first two digits of this one are the same, we now look at the third digit, which is 5 and 7. So between 5 and 7, which one is smaller? Remember, we are doing them in ascending order, meaning that we are first writing the small one. So in this case, 5 is smaller. So we write it down. Three hundred and twenty-five. So the next number, because this one, the second digit is bigger, so three hundred and twenty-seven is less than three hundred and fifty-two. So three hundred and twenty-seven. Okay. Then followed by. 352. After that, we look for numbers that begin with the digit 4. The number 4, which is 498 and 464. So, the first digit is the same. So, we look at the second one. Okay, they are different. So which one is smaller? Six is smaller. So means that this number will be smaller than this number. So that is 464. Then the next will be 498. We look for numbers beginning with five. There are none. We look for numbers beginning with six. There are two. There are two. So what do we do? We write them down. We write them down. That's 646 and 640. Okay. So we look at the first digit, which is that one. They are the same. 
So that doesn't tell us. So we look at the second one. Four, the same. So that also doesn't tell us which number is smaller. So now after that, we look at the third digit. Okay. So between zero and six, which one is smaller? Zero is smaller. So that means that this number will be the smaller number, which is 640 and 646. So when we look at these numbers, we can see that we started with the smallest, which was a one digit number, and we ended up with the biggest number, which was a three digit number. So when you're arranging numbers in ascending order, you can be given either different number of digits or you can be given the same number of digits. But if you use that method, you will be able to arrange your numbers in ascending order. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.